The pandemic made us all panic. I tried to get some toilet roll the other day and it was so manic. So I turned on the news searching for truth, but now I can't sleep. I mean, it can't just be me. They told us to wear masks, but now we can't breathe. It all started with an overwhelming feeling of being enslaved, but ended with the realization of self-awareness and empowerment. While you're locked down, something phenomenal has opened up. A space for deeper loving relationships with myself and others. I write in lockdown like I'm in detention. Plain freedom writers, poets need attention. Lockdown has taught me that I'm a word assassin. Some would even say killer poetry. It has taught me to appreciate the connections that I have with people and to nurture those connections more. Lockdown taught me the hugs are the most underrated thing in the world. The clouds are only as gray as you make them. COVID-19 brought to me a space to escape society, to dive deep into my inner serenity. I've been rebirthed and remastered. In the midst of what most consider to be a disaster and catastrophe, I took it as a divine order from God to slow down, have peace, and find clarity. Transcendence. Lockdown has really shown me the importance of reflecting on everything around me. What I see, that's not seen by some in the world who don't see. I summarize intently, 2020 continues to teach me. This lockdown taught me the importance of rest and how I am so, so loved, even when I'm not at my best. Division only conquers if you keep score. We're 70% water, so we let it flow. So our love only grows. The seed of hope blooms to fill the room with roots of home, my screen found you. One line to explain that on introspection I've had the privilege of befriending my soul, falling in love with the essence of who I am, understand that I can deviate from socially conformed lines. Lockdown has brought me a sense of certainty through all the uncertainty, inner peace through all the turmoil. A chance to enjoy my own company and be happy being me. Um, this has introduced me to a world full of inspirational and amazing poets. And I Sometimes you need to pause in order to remind yourself and reflect on what you have in your possession from whence you came and plan accordingly to where you're trying to go. I may be on lockdown, but I'm never locked out of my mind. I write rhymes in order to escape. Like, I wonder what Mary Poppins' CRB check would really look like. I mean, a spoonful of sugar is innocent enough until the GP says your kids have diabetes. Lockdown has taught me that creativity can filter through computer screens and the best people can descend from wide blue skies. I have seen the world on fire, but this is a land of hope, and we are going to burn until the sun rises up again. Lockdown has taught me how to reforge myself, how to let go of the past and embrace the new future. And lockdown has taught me that we are all spiritual beings having a temporary human experience, and the experience of lockdown will pass. So this time has brought me so much patience. The lockdown brought these people into my life. It called out to poets all over the world to return to a home many didn't even know they had. It brought us together. Yeah. Poetry tribe, family.